Hello, everybody. So, ooh, I need to readjust myself. I have music playing on my computer, so that way you can actually hear the music. Yay! Okay. So, today I am reading a fan fiction. It is called Lake. It's a Bakugo X Sinner. And it is actually by me. I made this late last night. It is a short. Oh my god, that's TikTok. I'm so sorry. I made this late last night. So it's not very long, so there's probably going to be another Bakugo X listener. I have one down on my notebook that's a Bakugo X villain listener. So we'll get that. And I'm thinking about doing a Haikyuu one today for those Haikyuu fans out there. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to open it up because I don't have it opened up because I didn't come prepared because I am very smart. Let's go to the lake. Okay. This is Lake by me, Bakugou's listener. Here we go. Today was the day. You invited your boyfriend of 10 months Katsuki to go with you and your family to the lake in order to hang out, and for Katsuki to, and for Katsuki and your family to get to, to know each other better. You were finally arrived. You all finally arrived at the lake, and you and Katsuki were currently sitting next to each other on the boat while your dad was launching. Why did I agree to this again? Katsuki asked in a low but annoyed tone. He was trying to get on your dad's good side since the whole dinner, since the whole dinner fiasco. Oh, and by the way, this is a fluff, and Bakugo is like mega nice. It's kind of weird, but it's a cat. Because you need to get along with my family more. Plus, it'll be fun. He said in upbeat voice. in the upbeat voice that brought a smile onto the normally grumpy boy's face. You had this effect on him like no other. He was always happy around you, and you could always somehow make him feel better. You just had this energy that radiated, that radiated off of you that brought smiles to everyone's faces. Katsuki, right then and there, just wanted, just wanted to kiss you. But knowing the man just a few feet away from you, sec- secretly... Eyeing you both, told him not to act on it. You both s- sat yourselves at- on the front of the boat while music was blasting from the speakers. Most of the songs neither of you really enjoyed because it was your brother's playlist, so you just drained the music out by conversing with each other. When a song came on that was surprisingly actually good, you would always start making these weird hand gestures to make it seem like you were dancing. It was one of the small things Katsuki liked about you, but would never admit. You all finally arrived at a beach where you were, where you will be setting up. Katsuki, trying to prove that he was a big, strong man capable of taking care of their daughter, insisted, insisted on doing all of it himself. And he actually did a really good job. In fact, it was how we normally set up. But today, Dad decided that wasn't good enough. The crew shouldn't be over there unless you want all the food to, be, to spoil. My chair needs to be in between these chairs, and etc. Bakugo was close to exploding in his face, but you quickly rushed to his aid to calm him down, while your dad was smiling, feeling accomplished. You squeezed Katsuki's hand, giving him a reassuring smile, and then thought of an idea of an idea that might cheer him up. Hey, what do you say about going on the raft? You asked him, smiling. Bakugo smirked at, smirked at you. Let's do this, he said, rubbing his hands together. <laughs> Soon you two were on the raft. You had your death grip on the handles as to not fly off while Bakugo was trying to show off, as usual, by putting his hands in the air at some parts. You honestly didn't really like going on the rafts, but you wanted to make Bakugo happy and less stressed out. So you decided 
to go on. You, it's not that you didn't like going on the raft. You just didn't find the idea of being thro forcefully thrown off the raft into water with that big of a force very enjoyable. At one point, you just closed your eyes and held your breath because the water was getting too choppy and you sworn you you almost fell off at least 10 times. Bakugo noticed this and silently grabbed your hand and squeezed it to let you know it was going to be okay. You opened your eyes and smiled at him before the boat suddenly stopped, causing you both to jerk forward. Your dad sat there with a little blowhorn in his hand, setting it off before continuing to drive the, to drive the boat back up to the beach. The second we got there, Bakugo grabbed your wrist, pulling you along with him before shouting, We're going on a walk, don't bother following us. He was obviously pissed. So I respected his wishes and followed along him. He eventually let go of my wrist and instead grabbed my hand. I'm so sick of those people, he grunted, breaking the silence between you two. You hummed before responding. I know they can be a handful sometimes. They're just a little overprotective, he said with a shrug. He stopped walking and turned to you. A little? Those bastards won't even let me hold my own girlfriend's hand without doing something stupidly drastic, he somewhat yelled. You had to agree that they were being very irrational with this whole thing. I just, I just can't take it anymore, he said, running his hands through his hair. You hugged him in an attempt to calm him down, which it did. I know you're stressed out with all of this, and I know you're trying your best to prove that you're good for me to my father, but honestly, you don't have to put up with all of it. If he's bugging you, just tell me, and I'll talk to him, okay? You finally finished, still hugging him. He hugged, he hugged back, okay? He said, you were about to turn away to head back to everyone else, but before you could, Bakugo spun you around and quickly kissed you on the lips. Just for good measures, he said, before gra just for good measures, he said, before grabbing your hand and walking with you back, back to your little setup with everyone else. Let's just say he was, he was in a lot of a better mood for the rest of the trip. And that's my little fan thing. It probably wasn't that good. Honestly, I was really tired, but, I was just, but it was in my notebook for one of my ideas or things to write, and I didn't want to forget it. Um, I got this inspiration whenever I went to the lake this weekend for my little brother's birthday, and I kept having many panic attacks, because that happens a lot. And I just imagined that Bakugo was there. This is my comfort character. So... I hope you all enjoy. Also, two, hold on, I can check now. 200 subscribers. I woke up this morning. I fell asleep with 180 subscribers. I woke up this morning. I checked my notifications like I always do. And then I get an, and then I see the notification saying, "Congratulations, you're you're at 200 subscribers." And obviously, as I always do, <laughs> I started crying. Yeah, it just happens. It's a normal thing. <laughs> um, the next fanfic I'm going to be doing is a Bakugo X Bloom Listener fanfic. That would be later today um i am also going to try finding a haiku fanfic because i've only been doing boku no here i don't think i'm saying that right whatever boku no here academia fanfic so i'm gonna try doing a haiku one for once i'm already searching for one so hopefully i can find one before the end of the day. If not, I'm probably going to do another Boku no Hero Academia fanfic. But I hope you all enjoy. I hope the music is pleasing to you as well. Because <laughs> I 
was trying to get it to work. I was doing tests almost all night, seeing how I can make it so the music is actually clear, and this will work best, just plain sound, while talking. So, thank you all so, 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 so much. And I will see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!